Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Coy Roland here with Yorkville First Midville and Newport Global Methodist Church, bring you a devotional today out of our People of the Bible series. And today we have King Daniel. Daniel's name means beloved. He was lived around the 10th century BC, the son of Jesse, Israel's most famous king. And though he was not sinless, he was a man after God's own heart. You can read Daniel's story in First and Second Samuel and First and Second Kings, as well as many of the Psalms that were penned by Daniel himself. And our devotional thoughts. When President John F. Kennedy challenged American scientists to put a man on the moon, the race for space began. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong took one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, and raised one of the first milestones in man's quest for space. But do you know that God is on a quest too? He's not looking to conquer space that already belongs to him. God is pursuing men and women who have a heart for him. He is searching, as it says in Revelation 5, 9, every tribe, every tongue, every people, every nation. And when he discovers those whose hearts beat in sync with his, the result is always intimacy with the Almighty. David was the kind of guy God was looking for. He admitted, O oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water psalm 63 verse 1 when samuel went to anoint one of jesse's sons as israel's king god warned the prophet not to look at the appearance or the height or the physical stature not to look for a man with outward appearance because the lord looks at the heart as it says in first samuel 6 7 if you want to become more intimate with God, develop a healthy and thir a, he a, a healthy thirst for Him by meeting Him in His daily Word. Because God is on a quest for those who are thirsting for Him. You're already halfway there. Just make sure you have clean hands and a pure heart, as it says in Psalm 24, 3 through 4. If you, if you are clean before God and have a heart for Him, God will quench your thirst. So I remind you from the life of David is to be people who seek after God's own heart, people who thirst for God above all else, who would seek God above all else, who would love God above all else. This is the kind of people God is looking for. And I pray you are one of those people. Amen.